Pistol, are you in there? Joshua? Dinner's ready. Just to let you know, we'll be having roasted basil chicken and onion soup again. That sounds so good. I'll come down later, so why don't you two go ahead and eat? All right. Well, well make sure to come down before your food gets cold. The Wheel of Fortune card. Again. Something really is going on. I just can't see what it is. Hmm? Where's Estelle? She said to go ahead and eat without her, so she didn't seem to have an appetite. I see. She took the news a lot better than I thought she would. It's not surprising she doesn't want to come out of her room. Seeing is how close she is with her father. I agree. So, what do you think about all of this, Shara? Is it an accident or an incident? To be honest, I couldn't say either way. Your dad is a, your dad is a top class bruiser. When it comes to crisis management, he's the best there is. Whichever it is, if your father happens to be there, it'll be resolved. But the fact is, an airliner along with your father has gone missing. In other words, what you're trying to say is that things that shouldn't have happened, happened, right? Don't lose heart on me now. You need to be a stout wolf of support and bear, and bear Estelle up. I'll get to work tomorrow and see what I can find out. And it sure smells good down here. I can't stand it any longer. What? Estelle? Are you okay? I'm so hungry, I thought I was gonna pass out. Oh, this looks so good! Bon appetit! <laughs> Aren't you two having any? This is great. The basil flavor really comes out when you roast it. You sure know how to cook, Joshua. Well, oh, well thanks. Come on, Shara. Don't you don't you just sit there too? Do you want to drink some of my dad's brandy from his secret stash? I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of Stein Rose that's about 20 years old down there. 20 years old in there. Did you say Stein Rose? And 20 years old too? <laughs> sure, what do you think you're doing? <sighs> Sorry, Estelle. I'm going to have to pass this time. By the way, what were you doing up in your room? You didn't come down even after Joshua called you for supper. Huh? Oh, right. I was just looking for some extra underwear. I was having a bit of trouble finding one of my favorites because it was stuffed in the back of one of the drawers. Uh, underwear? Oh, and a set of gear for traveling. I mean, who knows how long we'll be gone, so I figure as long as we're prepared, we'll have nothing to worry about. Uh, so what you're saying is, you intend to head to Bose to find your father? Well, duh, that's a no-brainer. And while I can't imagine anything bad happened to him, despite his horrible luck, waiting around just doesn't suit me, so I'm gonna go check things out for myself. <laughs> you really are something else. Whether it's your positive attitude or thick skin, I can't say, but... What? You're so rude, Joshua. But you're coming with me. But you are coming along too, right? Of course. However, it looks like all airliner flights have been cancelled until the army finishes their search. It seems like the only way to Bose is on foot. Walk to Bose, huh? I wonder how long that's going to take. For a bracer on foot, if they, if they hurry, they can make it there in about half a day. But if that's the route you're taking, that makes things easy. I think I'll tag along as well. Really? You'll come with us? But aren't you busy with a bunch of other jobs? Hey, I trained under your father, right? 
Did you honestly think I'd just sit here when something could have happened to the person I owe so much to? I'm going to talk to Ina and have her pass my jobs at the guild to another member. Shara, we really appreciate this, Shara. You really shouldn't be thanking me. I just can't believe a job as big as this. I can't. I just can't leave a job as big as this up to a bunch of newbies. I hate to say it, but you're probably right. Oh well, since Shara's along for the ride now, I do feel a bit more confident. We appreciate you coming in with us. He, <laughs> myself as well. Anyway, let's make sure to drop by the guild tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll need to explain the situation to Ina. Aww. Chapter 1, Disappearance of the Lind. I understand the situation now. To be frank though, with Sherazard taking off after Cassius, I'm going to be I'm going to be Oh my god. To be frank though, with Sherazard taking off after Cassius, I'm going to be really short-handed. But since this involves him directly, please don't worry about anything. I really appreciate this, Ina. Make good use of Ridge while we're gone. He should be able to deal with at least three times his normal workload. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? Don't worry, if things get too hectic, I'll ask for help from the Groundsel branch. By the way, Sherzard, can I get a minute? I'd like to talk with you about the job you were going to do. Sure, no problem. Estelle, Joshua, could I have you two wait upstairs? I'll be done in a minute. Understood. Um, Shara? <laughs> if we're going to be waiting, would you mind if we did it out in front of the clock tower? I'd like to say hi to someone. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Then let's meet up in front of the clock tower. As soon as I'm done here, I'll head over there myself. Got it. Come on, Joshua. Uh, sure. Septian Calendar 1075, erected in partnership with the liberal royal family, Septian Church in Roland City. Septian Calendar 1192, destroyed during the Hundred Days War, when Roland was bombarded by the Arabonian Imperial Army. Septian Calendar 1197, rebuilt with the cooperation of the citizens of Roland. Every time I see this clock tower, I always think, they sure did a superb job restoring it after the war. You can sure feel the spirit of Roland's people from this. Estelle? Um, Joshua? What do you think about going up with me and waiting until Shara shows up? You mean the clock tower? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, come on. This morning, the morning air is so refreshing. Hey, look, Joshua, you can see the house from here. We can see the house from here. You're right, I can see the roof. But do you want to tell me what's going on since we've, we've always avoided coming up here? I was under the impression that you didn't like this place. I like this place, but I just can't... I just can't usually come up here because this is the place where my mom died. What? Ten years ago, during the war, when the Imperial Army surrounded Roland, they bombarded the symbol of the city, the clock tower, to try and get the citizens to surrender. This was at the time Dad was fighting in the Royal Army. I wanted to see who he was fighting against, so I climbed up the clock tower. And when the bombardment started, I couldn't get away. I 
when I came to, when I came to, I hardly had a scratch on me. My mother had saved me. I was wrapped tightly in her arms, shielded from the rebel. And as I cried, she sang my favorite lullaby. But when they finally dug us free, After the war ended and this place had been rebuilt, I avoided coming here for the most part. It's not because I have painful memories of this place though. It's just when I come here, a part of me wants so much to draw on her strength. Plus, I felt that I can't be strong like her if I'm always trying to rely on her. Estelle, but today is okay, right? <sighs> Relying on her just this once. Asking her to bring dad home safely. Asking her to protect him. Of course it is. And don't worry, dad's safe for sure. Your mother's protecting him, so there's no doubt in my mind that he's safe. And if, they, and if he happens to be in a bit of trouble, then you can come to his rescue. Just like your mother did for you. You can do the same for your dad. Don't forget, I'm here too. I'm he and don't forget, I'm here to help you too. Joshua, I know I can't completely understand everything you've been through, but I can stay here by your side as I am now. And if you need a shoulder to cry on, you've always got mine. So... Huh? <laughs> Joshua, you're trying too hard. Ooh. You, sh you shouldn't say things like that so lightly. W what do you mean? If I were any other girl, I would totally have misinterpreted your intentions just now. Oh, come on! <laughs> you are seriously the type who's going to have problems with, rom with romantic relationships in the future. <laughs> I'm already starting to get worried. And your coming off is really dense now. Oh, well, excuse me for trying to be nice. Why do you have to be like that when someone is genuinely worried about you? Thanks for cheering me up, Joshua. I feel a lot better now. I guess as long as I get some kind of thanks, it was worth looking like a complete fool. But you were unbelievable, Bumble Bumble. <laughs> Don't be so mad. I'm really thankful, believe it or not. So, how about we get down from here, huh? I'm sure Cher is waiting for us. You're probably right. Um, I finally realized why I wanted to, <laughs> why I wanted to become a bracer. It's so I could become strong and protect others just like you. So please watch and see. I won't fail to bring dad home safe again. Aww, the two of you had such a cute scene going on up there. Why, my cheeks even feel a bit hot just thinking about it. What's that supposed to mean? You were spying on us? Give me some credit, will you? I just happened to see you when I looked up to check the time. I, would, I sure wish I had an old camera to get a shot of that view. Come on. What are you trying to say, Shara? That's called family bonding, plain and simple. <laughs> it's, a kind of th it's kind of like your habit of hugging everyone after your third bottle of wine. <laughs> Let's not get into that. <laughs> What's with the sigh? You really don't know how to take a joke, do you? Well, whatever. Did you say hi to Lena while you were up there? Yeah. I even asked her, I even asked her to watch over Dad. I see, but I guess it looks like we're all set. You know, Lena's protection is equal to that of the goddess herself. Your dad's safety 
your dad's safety is pretty much guaranteed. I think you may be giving her a little too much credit. Now that you mention it, you met Estelle's mother before, right, Shara? Yeah, when I was a child. Yeah, when I was a child. I was still in the troop at the time. A troop? Yeah, a troop in a traveling circus. Shara was a dancer. Although it was a long time ago, we first met when she came to Roland with the circus. Twelve years ago to be exact, I was eleven and Estelle was four. And because of that chance encounter, when I became a brazier, I trained under your father. I didn't know that. Maybe I'll let, maybe I'll tell you about it sometime when I get a when I get a chance. Are you about ready to head out to head out for Bows? With the airliner flights cancelled, we'll just have to make our way to Bows on the old-fashioned way by foot. First, we'll need to make our way to the Vert Bridge checkpoint which sits on the border of the Bose region. The Vert Bridge is located at the west end of the Milch Main Road. It looks like we're all set, we're all set, so let's go. Okay, before we do that, let's stop at the guild in case there are any quests. Let a carrier. Find Father Divine, pay 800 Amira, difficulty low. I'm looking for someone to deliver a personal a personal letter to a colleague of mine in Bows. Please come see me at the Roland Chapel for details. Okay. Let's go to the general store. Shop by um, Liberal News 2. Yes, please. Let's go ahead and read that. Uh, books. Overall news too. Breaking story. Disappearance of the Lind. Gone without a trace. Where could it be? Yesterday afternoon, the airliner Lind vanished over the East Bose airspace while en route to Roland. An exhaustive overnight search conducted by the Royal Army yielded no clues to its whereabouts, leaving all parties baffled. In response to these, in response to the to this incident. The army has declared all airliner flights cancelled until further notice. Fate of Lind passengers unknown. The Liberal Oval Ship Corporation reports that 17 were aboard the Lind at the time of its departure, including both passengers and crew. Family members of these missing persons are understand understandably concerned, but remain hopeful. Probability of accident is low, says expert. Central Factory Chief Murdoch proclaims our orbital engines are sturdy and reliable. The chance of an engine failure is virtually nil. Do not believe an accident to have occurred. Rumor and theory. Rumors and theories abound. Was it a cons was it a conspiracy perpetrated by the Royal Army and the covert mercenary force comprised of Jaegers? Perhaps it was a plot to kidnap the passengers and hold them for ransom. Some have even suggested the Lind came under attack by the last living ancient dragon. No matter what anyone may have heard, it's all just speculation at this point, as no real evidence has yet to be found. Has yet been found. The Royal Army is investigating a possible connection between this incident and the recent burglaries in Bose, but thus far no information on any such connection has been released. In fact, no information has been released at all due to army regulations prohibiting the dissemination of intelligence to the general public, a policy that I'm sure we'd all like to see repealed. Society, a crystal, crystal stolen in daring robbery. A group of unknown individuals recently broke into the Roland Mayor's house to steal a septum crystal that was left in his possession. Local bracers came to the rescue and managed to recover the stolen item, but the culprits are still at large. Thankfully, no harm came to the mayor or his family during this incident. We deeply regret that the criminals escaped, says a Roland Bracer representative. But please know that we, the Bracer Guild, do everything in our power, did everything in our power to apprehend them, and will continue to pursue and will continue the pursuit for however long it takes. It may take. 
Culture, Touring Ancient Sites, the Roland Region, and the Ismalis Tower. The Ismalis Tower lies a few hundred selg to the north of Roland City, along the Mongo Trail. This turquoise green visage is the only real landmark for as far as the eye can see. Counting is one of the four tetracyclic towers. Its purpose is still shrouded in mystery to this day. The, this exciting location is as old as the burl itself, and, and modern research utilizing the latest oval technology is expected to answer a few questions about this eerie structure, while posing still others. Cool. I'm curious what the tetracyclic towers are going to be for. They've got to have some sort of use, right? Okay, wholesome pasta. Do you have any new items for me to buy? Yes, you do. Milk crate. All right, let's grab that. Now let's go ahead and head out towards Bows. Not gonna worry about doing any monster farming or anything. Should be able to make it there with that incident. There might be one fight that I get into along the way, but I'd like to avoid that. Cool, I should be fine. Um, let's see here. Since joining the army, this is the first time I've ever been so busy in my life. I guess this is no time to be finishing or read, to be fishing or reading books. I just bought this book, but I guess I'll but I guess I'll give it to you. The chief would be livid if he caught me with this. Received Carnelia Chapter 2. Cool. Let's read that. I love these books. Carnelia Chapter 2. The train station. Hello there, Toby. You've come at just the right time. Reading me with these words, Mitch shuffled slightly in his seat behind the counter. The baked confection he had been eating was ever so carefully placed atop his lap to prevent it from falling onto the floor. He smacked both of his powdered sugared, sugar covered hands together with a clap, and a cloud of white particles puffed into the air. The smell of sweet spices and baked apple pervaded, pervaded the dimly lit shop. We had an item dropped off no more than a few minutes ago, he continued. Turning in his seat, Mitch reached back and snatched up something wrapped in old magazine paper from off the shelf, tossing it to me. Knowing full well I wouldn't get any sort of answer, I asked anyway, what do we have this time? Playing out my railway and airship tickets, Mitch ignored my question and said, make sure this gets to the same place as always. In his slow drawl, he added, it would be in your best interest to keep your involvement to a minimum by leaving the business side of things to me and focus solely on getting the, the job done, Toby. He leaned back in his chair and let out a deep sigh, the balls of his fingers kneading the bags under his eyes. Then once again, his large hand extended down toward the, in, the unattended cake resting on his leg. Before the sweet treat, could reach his watering mouth, I had already made my way out the door of his tiny shop. As I walked, the waste paper bundle package bounced around inside the folds of my bag. By the feel of its shape and weight, as it beat steadily against my side, I concluded that the object in my possession was probably just more swag. It didn't make me nervous not to know what it was that I was carrying for I had done this type of job, job many times before, and no matter what kind of trouble I found myself wrapped up in, I had always somehow managed to come out unscathed. In truth, my experience on the job had made me tough, and I had become well-versed in the art of oval magic. So it was that when I laid eyes on that rough-looking trio at the station, I felt no more knots of unease in the pit of my stomach than was necessary for someone of my abilities. The platform for the train bound for Liberal was a bustle with passengers awaiting its eventual arrival. Seeing that the benches were so crammed full of people that they could have very well been a tin of packaged of packed sardines, I resigned myself to standing near the entrance. 
as I patiently waited for the train to come in. Twisting my body in order to move the bag to my other shoulder, I noticed the figures of two men. Heads bent together and conversing in an inaudible tone, they stood just beyond the thicket gate, right about where the horse head of the imperial emblem lay embedded in the ground in a grand mosaic of tiles. After a short interim, another man approached and joined in the conversation. From my own perspective, this was one ragtag group that most certainly couldn't have gotten, couldn't have given a passing grade to based, grade two based on looks. All three were extremely well built and sported the same haircut. To put it mildly, they stuck out in the crowd like a bunch of uh, like a bunch of sore thumbs. Making sure to avoid eye contact with them, as they glanced in my direction, I slung my bag back onto my shoulder and ever so calmly reached my hand into my pocket and ran the tips of my fingers across the shirt across the surface of my ornament. A woman's voice reverberated within the walls of the station, notifying the passengers that the train had arrived. The low rumble of an oval engine could be felt in the distance, and after a few moments, a large vehicle was seen rolling up on the shoulder. I muttered to myself, all is well, but the sound of my voice was drowned out by the din of the massive machine. Brakes screeched and a flash of black light reflected off the surface of the giant iron beast as it came sliding across the rails. The immense vibration in the air emanating from the moving locomotive at its epicenter let me know that the oval engine had been put into full reverse in order to deaccelerate and bring the train to a grinding halt. While being shoved to and fro by the waves of, of impatient travelers flooding out of the waiting area, I was swept toward one door of a passenger car. As we passed by the conductor, I caught another glimpse of the ticket gate. The men who were once there were now gone, and the only thing that remained was the profile of the horse made of glossy tiles, glaring back at me in a shape of deep red crimson. Of deep crimson. Ooh. I'm really curious where this is going. So let's go in here. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, too. Hello, Mr. Ashton. And this is Charizard, if I remember correctly, right? Good afternoon, sir. We'd like to cross over into the Bose region, so we were wondering about getting a pass. Let me guess, this has something to do with the wind, doesn't it? Yeah. Estelle explained that Cassius was aboard the missing airliner. Goodness, Cassius was aboard? This is major. I'll issue I'll issue you a pass right away. Received gate pass. Thank you, sir. But is it all right if you issue us a pass just like that? What are you talking about? I knew you kids by face. And as a member of the Royal Army, I should do my best to cooperate with the Brazier Guild. Oh, but one other thing. Huh? Be careful if you have any errands at the Hocken Gate, north of here. You might want to hide your identities as bracers there. What do you mean? I'm sorry, but I can't say any more about the matter. But if you do intend to investigate the incident, please do so with discretion. Pray to Ideos for Cassius's safe return. Aw, that's kind of worrisome though. <laughs> Hello there, are you headed for Bows? We are, but how did you know we weren't just visiting again? Well, a number of people like yourselves have been passing through lately. Ex exponentially more than usual. Is that because flights have been suspended in the airspace over Bows? That's exactly what's happened. You won't you wouldn't believe how this place is because of it, how busy this place is because of it. Well, the Royal Army is responsible for all the restricted flights, so you're, so you're really not in a position to complain. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Oh, and another thing. Traffic through this checkpoint is also being regulated. If you want to go through here, you'll have to get a pass from the Chief Warrant Officer next door. Oh, well, we've already got one. Handed over Gate Pass. Well, aren't you guys prepared? Okay, then. 
How about I open the gate for you? The soldier opened the gate by remote control. And I forgot to go talk to Father Div Divine about the quest. Crap. I have to go back and do that. <laughs> All right, you're clear to go on through. Once you cross over, you won't be able to come back unless you get a pass from the other side. Please be aware of that before you cross. Got it. Okay, let's head back to Roland and talk to Father Divine because I don't want to miss any quests. Luckily, I shouldn't get into any fights, so it's not going to take too long. Just wish I hadn't forgotten. <laughs> All right, talk to Father Divine. Well, good morning, everyone. Are you going on a journey somewhere? Yeah, just over to Bo's. Is that so? Then in that case, could I ask, could I ask a favor of you? I had wanted to send Father Holstein a letter, but the airliners are grounded. So how about it? Can I get you to deliver this letter while you're there in Bo's? Set. Sure, we'll do it. It shouldn't be a problem since a letter's not that big not that big to begin with. I really appreciate this. Alright then. Alright then, here you are. Here you are. Received uh FR Divine's letter. Father Divine's letter. So all we need to do is give this letter to Father Holstein in Bose, right? Holstein. Yes, the chapel is on the east side of Bo's city, so it should be fairly easy to locate. Traveling around other regions and broadening your knowledge is food for the mind. I pray to the I pray that the goddess will guide you on your journey. Alright. Now we can head to Bo's. <laughs> Get there as quickly as we can. I don't really want to fight on the way there because it's probably going to be a lot harder to beat enemies. And they get to a, a part where I can actually start leveling quickly again. And to do that, I have to find the shining palms in the Bose region. Otherwise, it'll take me a billion years to level, and I don't want that. Okay, let's be really careful about enemies. I want to avoid all fights that I possibly can until I get to Bose. Luckily, now that I have the Heaven's Eye Quartz, it's a lot easier to travel. Don't have to... What's that headed? What's that headed this way? Well, if it isn't Sherizard, how have you been? Fine, I haven't seen you in a while either. What are you up to? As you can see, I'm doing an escort job. I'm sure that you've heard about all the airliners being granted after the Lind incident, right? Because of that, we have, we have to move all this cargo to the Royal City by ground transport. I see, well, your efforts are appreciated. So how about yourself? What are you doing with these youngsters? Don't tell me you're looking into the incident. That was the plan. Why? Do you know something we should be aware of? Well, I think it would be best if you spoke with Lugrin about it at the Bo's branch. Anyway, I've got to, I've got to get going. Catch you later. Okay, bye. First, Mr. Ashton, and now him. Everyone keeps hinting at something, but no one will come. Will just come out and say it. I wonder what's up. Well, there must be a good reason for it, and we'll probably find our answer at the Bose Branch. Agreed. If we do get, if we do as he suggests and ask Lugrin about it, we may just get a clue as to what's going on. Anyway, let's get moving. Sure. Okay. 
right? <laughs> Still need to avoid fights right now. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Even though I was overleveled for the other region, it doesn't mean I'm going to be similarly overleveled for this one. And I have a feeling it's going to be super brutal if I'm not careful! <laughs> Whoops. Is this the right way? I think so, right? Yes. Or I can depose after all. Sweet. Bose North Block. We finally made it here. This is the commercial city of Bose, which sits at the heart of the Bose region. Wow, this is this definitely looks like a city. Of the five major cities in Liberal, this one comes next after the Royal City. Compared to Roland, the buildings are all made of stone, of stone and seem a lot bigger. Does anyone have any idea what that huge building is over there? That's the Bose Market. It's an in indoor marketplace made up of various shops. Food, clothing, sundry goods, furniture, books, and so on. You can pretty much buy everything here with the exception of weapons and ordnance. It's not surprising that they call this place a commercial city. Man, I really wish this trip could have been for shopping. Maybe some other time. Let's first stop by the guild and find out what's going on regarding the incident. Oh, alright. Just so you know, the Bryson Guild is just right over there. Well, before we do that, can we actually go into the church? Yes, let's get this quest done. Um, excuse me? Hmm? You're Father Holstein, right? Ho ho ho! Indeed I am, but how may I help you? This is for you. It's a letter from Father Divine in Roland. Handed over Father Divine's letter. Ho ho ho, is this for me? Didn't I just say it was? Thank you very much for delivering this. However, a letter from Father Divine could only mean... Ah yes, he's come up with a new formula. Huh? A new formula for what? Ho ho ho, don't tell me you didn't know? Father Divine is a master of medicine known throughout Liberal for his skills in the healing arts. In fact, he, is, he was well known for his... In fact, he was well known for this even back when he was at Bransel Cathedral. R really? Even after he took up his new post as a father in Roland, he has continued his research without fail. And when, we, and when he discovers an effective medicine, he shares his knowledge with the rest of us. We bracers also use the medicine created by Father Divine on a daily basis. So, in a way, we're being supported in our work from behind the scenes. I had no idea. It would have it would have been nice if he had at least mentioned it to us. But it's just like him not to, since he never talks about himself. Ain't that the truth? Father Divine is very strict with himself. Whenever he admonishes someone, he is always admonishing himself as well. This is one attitude I think all young children these days should learn. Although it would be difficult for me to learn at this ripe age. Ho ho ho. Yeah, har har har, or whatever. <laughs> well, how about we just try to work hard without overreaching ourselves? I appreciate you coming all the way up from Roland to deliver this letter today. Oh, Ideos, goddess of the firmin firmament, please protect these souls as you guide them in their daily lives. Quest letter carrier completed. Sweet! Alright, let's go to the guild now. Guild hall, guild building, whatever.
Oh, Sherzard, you arrived a lot sooner than I expected. I appreciate you coming all the way from Roland. It's been a while, hasn't it, Lugrin? Did someone tell you that we were coming ahead of time? Yes, I received a call from Ina not that long ago. So that means these two kids with you are Cassius's children? Yes, that's right. Um, it's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Estelle Bright. And I'm Joshua Bright. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Lugrin, and I oversee the Bose Ranch. Your father and I go way back. Please just call me Lugrin. Sure, we'll do that. That said, could you give us a quick update on the missing airliner incident? Yes, about that. The Royal Army is still continuing its search. However, with the Army's current restrictions and on information, no public updates of the situation have been made. And not only has the general public been kept in the dark, but the Guild hasn't heard a word either. Really? Why not? Aren't the Army and the Guild supposed to be cooperating together? Well, that's the way it is on the surface anyway. But in actuality, there's a lot of opposition between both parties in a number of aspects. So pretty much what you're saying is that it's a bunch of jurisdictional disputes, right? I hate to admit it, but that's the situation. In addition, General Morgan has gotten involved. Did you just say General Morgan? Great, now, now it really looks like things are going to be a pain. General Morgan? Who's that? He's, a, he's famous for repelling the Imperial Army's invasion 10 years ago. You should have read about him in the history books. Hmm, amazingly enough, I don't recall the name. So, what's the big deal with this famous guy anyway? From what I've heard, he's not the biggest fan of the Bracer Guild. He hates Bracers, in fact. It seems he even makes it a point to routinely assert that there's no need for a Bracer Guild. Sounds like a real whack job to me. <laughs> uh, so what you're saying is that that we're not getting any information because of this general? That's not really important at the moment. What really matters is that bracers are being prohibited from entering the regions they are investigating. And because of that, it's causing conflicts in, with our other work. But we just came all the way here from Roland. If that's the way it's going to be, then it's time to duel it out with this general to decide who gets to investigate the incident. <laughs> yes, let's duel the general. <laughs> You're talking like a crazy person, Estelle. Keep her cool, Bracer. There are other ways. Such as the request we just received from the mayor concerning the incident. She, she has asked, asked us that she has asked, asked that we conduct an investigation from the guild side separate from the army. Well, that's encouraging news. If it's an official request from the mayor, it'll be a great pretext for us to conduct our own investigation. I see. Well, isn't, isn't this perfect timing? Lucrin will accept the mayor's request. That sounds fine by me, but before you go, you two are Junior Bracers, right? Yeah, why? Junior Bracers, so to speak, are members in training registered at various branches. In short, their performance is monitored by the branch where they're currently registered. And right now, for you two, that would be Roland. So what you're saying, so what you're trying to say is that we have to change our registration if we want to accept jobs here, right? You've got it. Here, all you need to do is sign on these forms to transfer your registration. Uh, sure. Our names go here, and Estelle and Joshua filled out the registration transfer forms. Alright, it looks like everything is in order. Junior Bracers, Estelle and Joshua. As of, as of this day, at 1520, your registration at the, at the Bose branch has been approved. 
this means that you are now members of the Bose branch. So you know, so you know, once you become a senior bracer, you can do any job without being registered to a particular branch. But on the flip side, your duties and responsibilities increase as well. Understood. So pretty much we're still newbies. Well, yeah. Well, it looks like now I'll be able to entrust you with the mayor's request. The mayor's residence is near the west gate. Be sure to go there and talk to her directly. We'll do that. Understood. Are there any quests from the board? Gravity Monster. Client Alder Ryzen. Pay 1500 Mira. Difficulty Medium. A ferocious monster has been sighted along the trail behind a Ravenu village. It must be sought out and exterminated ASAP. For details, please see me in the village. Ingridian Seeker. Client Gwyn, pay 800 Mira, difficulty low. I'm in a bind right now, as I seem to be lacking a certain cooking ingredient I regularly use per practice. Please bring five tender poultry to me at the Antero's restaurant. Client Bracer Guild, pay 1000 Mira, difficulty medium, East Bow's Monster. A ferocious monster known as a King Scorpion has been spotted roving the East Bow's Highway. Brazers from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. Okay, let's go meet with the mayor now. I didn't miss any quests from Roland, right? I have to report this. Let's do that real quick. Report. Reported results from letter carrier. Payment in mirror, 800. Gained BP, 2. Current rank is still 7th. Alright. Go to the mayor's residence. Is it this place? Yep, Bo's mayor's residence. Wow, now isn't this a gorgeous place? Check out the crazy expensive looking chandelier. Calm down, Estelle. Why do we just walk into people's houses? It looks like this is the mayor's place, all right. Now, I just wonder if she's home. Oh, do we have visitors? Welcome to the Bose Mayor, the Bose Mayor's residence. May I ask who you are, please? We're with the Bracer Guild. The mayor made a request to the guild, and we've come here to inquire about the details. Well, I have heard from the mayor that you would be ex that we would be expecting you. However, I am sorry to inform you that the mayor is currently out at the moment. She has gone to worship at the, the chapel. When do you expect when do you expect her back, sir? Well, let me see. Actually, I would imagine her to be making a return any moment now. Well, we're in a well, we're kind of in a hurry to meet her. Do you think it would be alright to call on her at the chapel? W well, I don't wish to inconvenience you. Don't worry, it would be it would probably save the both of us some trouble. But if you don't mind me asking, what does the mayor look like? Like the typical wealthy person? The cat with feathers in it? Dripping gemstones from every pore? But uh, what? What kind of description is that, Estelle? Hello? Feathers? Gemstones from every... What? Um, how colorful, but quite off the mark, I assure you. How would I describe her? Should I say she looks splendid, or should I say beautifully mature? If she could just find the right man, then I could retire in peace. Huh? Uh, never mind. I was just thinking out loud. Ah yes, this may help. The mayor has a maid accompanying her. That, that might be the easiest way to find her. The mayor is being accompanied by a maid, huh? That sounds easy enough to find in a crowd of people. Let's hurry and head over to the chapel. Okay, let's get to the chapel. I think I saw the maid and the mayor outside earlier. Oh, there you are. You're the maid we've been looking for. Huh? And you are... 
Still, that wasn't very polite. My apologies, we're, the, we're with the Bracer Guild. We're looking for the mayor so we can confirm the details of a job she requested. Oh, I see. Please let me introduce myself. I am her maid, Lila. I see the I see to the mayor's daily needs. Being served hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in are really different. So where is the mayor, if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's praying she's playing hooky from her religious duties. <laughs> huh? I'm sure she's probably in the middle of inspecting the situation in, situation in the market. She took off after telling me to pray for her, too. <laughs> I don't know how I should say this, but the mayor seems like she has quite a unique personality. <laughs> well, doesn't she sound interesting? Even if she weren't the mayor, I'd be kind of intrigued. There's no doubt she's a capable person, although she does have a bit a bit of an unrestrained aspect to her at times. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet her right now. I don't mean to sound impolite, but would you mind waiting at her residence? I will let her know you're there. Um, I don't know how I feel about going back there empty-handed. Would it be alright if we came along with you instead? Come with me to meet the mayor? Oh, I guess it's okay. Let's make our way over to the Bow's Market, then. Is Lyatha going to join the party? <laughs> that would actually be really cool if she did. Wow, this place is really huge. I wonder where the mayor is. Well, she does stand out in a crowd, so I'm sure you'll find her right away. Oh, just as I thought. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Trying to force up the price of food at a time like this by buying it all up. You're not fit to be the you're not fit to be merchants and bows. But, but, but ma'am, we were just thinking about how to increase sales for the bows market in general. I don't want to hear I don't want to hear any more from you. If it were other products, it would be a different story, but making undue profits on necessities will lead to negative publicity for the market. Return these goods to their original prices at once. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> we'll do as you say. Now, I don't doubt your passion for the Bose market, but I want you to understand this. Commerce, when you get right down to it, is the established relationship of trust between people. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you can become wonderful merchants and bows. Y -y yes ma'am. We'll do our best. Whew. Madam? Ayla, so you came, huh? I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. Actually, you did a wonderful job as always. But never mind that, these people are here to see you. Please come back home immediately. Oh, that emblem is. Could it be the bracers I requested? Yep, that's us, but... So, does that mean that you're... He. <laughs> Forgive me for not introducing myself. My name is Maybell. I'm the owner of this market and the mayor of the Bose region. Wow, okay, so we're meeting at a super fancy restaurant. <laughs> this restaurant looks super expensive. Are we really going to have a meeting here? I often use this place for business meeting meetings. The food is quite good too. I tell you what though, I had heard the mayor of Bose was a woman. But I never imagined you would be, you would be this young. Based on looks alone, I would guess that you're only four or five years older than me. Actually, I still feel like I'm nothing more than an untrustworthy, unnoteworthy successor to my father. My late father was a previous mayor, and all I did was inherit the rights to the Bose Market and the political foundation which he set up. That's a rather 
that's a rather unvarnished self-evaluation if I've ever heard one. After all, I'm just the daughter of a businessman, so there's no sense in getting high of, in getting high hat about it, about that. But anyway, would it be all right to go over the details of my request with you again? Sure, that'd be fine. Well, what I would like to ask you to do, that you do, is investigate the disappearance of the missing airship and bring, and bring closure to the incident. I'm of the opinion that bracers would bring about much more de desirable results concerning this incident, incident than the army is currently producing. The reason being, we're not fighting a war, we're trying to find answers and solve a mystery. Well, I, for one, would be honored, but, it, but don't you think that you're overrating us just a bit? Uh, just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is, an influential businessman was aboard the airliner that disappeared. In addition, if the Royal Army continues to keep the Bose airspace as a no-fly zone, business is going to suffer. And just when business had been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration too. I see, so this is an economic appeal, right? Yes, and it's something which I can't, I can't trust to be left up to the army alone. So what do you think? Will you accept or request for your help in the matter? Well, we have our own reasons for wanting to investigate the incident, but and we'd like to accept the job, but... The army has actively been trying to exclude bracers from anything having to do with the incident. So, uh, I don't suppose you could pull the mayor card for us, could you? Maybe show the army who's running the show? Excluding bracers, huh? This must have something to do with General Morgan, then. That man has disliked bracers from the beginning. So you know who the general is, Mayor Maybell? He was a friend of my late father's. Tentatively, tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. So, I may just be able to do something for you. Meaning... Lila? Yes, madame. Lila produced a sheet of paper and a fountain pen from her pocket and handed, and handed them to Mayor Maybell. I guess this should be sufficient. Here, please take this with you. Received Mayor Maybell's letter. What's this letter for? It's a letter of request to General Morgan. It is to inform him of my request for information about the incident as the official re responsible for the region. I think this should be enough to get some information out of the army. I see. But I wonder if that bracer hating general will even meet with us at all. I think it I think it would be pretty safe it would be a pretty safe bet as long as you hide your identities. You would probably be best served by saying that you are messengers for the mayor. I don't know if I like the sound of that. It feels like we're lying or something. It's not lying, we'd just not be telling him everything. <laughs> okay, since this is a time-sensitive situation, I think we should be practical about it. I guess you're right, Joshua. By the way, where do we need... Where do we need to go to meet General Morgan? There's a fort called the Hawken Gate on the international border to the north of Bose. You should be able to find find the general there. Cool. All right, everyone, I'm counting on you. You just leave everything to us. If you find out anything, we'll come and let you know. I'll be looking forward to some good news. Goodbye, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Alright, let's get going, shall we? The Hocken Gate is at the end of the Eisen Road to the north of the East Bose Highway. In short, we need to head out the East Gate and then turn north thereafter, right? 
Alrighty then, Huck and Gate, here we come. Before that, let's start with side quests. Let's go this way first. 